Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai. Barakatha Yahawa, Barakatha Yahawa Shai. Barakatha Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Rechachordash. Double honors to apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother Amoth, your eyes from Yahweh. Back at it again with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Woo, boy, oh boy, man. We about to get it in, Israel. We are literally about to get it in, man. Hey, man. It's balanced, man, being done upon the earth by the hands of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, by the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, must I say. And all type of wickedness is flourishing, man. So without further ado, man, I got three videos I'm going to show. And uh, before I show this first video, I'm going to break out with these scriptures and then I'm going to show the video. So let's start off here, man. I ain't even going to speak on the matter. I'm just going to let the scriptures talk and then let the video speak. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 25, verse 19, and it reads this. All wickedness, all wickedness, not just some, not just that, not just a little bit, not just a portion. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her, man. So these women are out of hand, man. OK, these women are completely out of control, man. And the only way for them to come back is to snap back into reality is, is through judgment, man. It's through your how about Shem Yahweh Shah bringing your fears upon you, man. Okay, everything that you've done in in this society, this this uh, uh, queen of Babylon the Great, man, you're gonna have to pay for, it, man. Okay, you you're gonna receive the judgment of your own hands, man. The wickedness of your own hands, man. Okay, nobody's gonna go unpunished, man. Okay, especially you you Israelites, man, and you you Israelite men and you Israelite women, man. Point blank, period, man. Okay, but like like the scripture says, all wickedness is but little. So all the wickedness of woman is little to her, man. They they don't they don't they don't see it as being wicked, man. They see it to be justified. Okay, they're not account they they're not accountable for none of their actions, man. Well, guess what? Yahweh about Shem Shah don't see it that way. Let's keep it going. Let's jump up to Job, chapter thirty nine. Verse 16, and it reads this. She is hardened against her young ones. She, the Israelite woman, is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. And this 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 video, man, is going to show you this this shameless ass dog, man. That's literally just wicked as hell, man. She using her kids. Matter of fact, she's having kids just to get paid, man. Real talk, man. I'm not making this up. She having kids just to get paid, man. That, so that means she don't give a damn about these kids, man. She lazy. She don't want to work. She, she getting government assistance. And I got to bring it out, man. You know, the spirit is telling me to bring it out. I can't hold on to it and wait, wait for the video to play. Wait for the video to play. I got to bring it out, man. This demon, man, this brute beast, man, is literally just having kids for a paycheck, man, and getting government government assistance, man. But yet, but yet, the so-called black man, so-called Native American and Seminole Indian, so-called Hispanic man, ain't shit. So what does that make you, woman, man? That do stuff like this, man. That's wicked as hell, man. Literally just popping out babies to get a check, man. She don't give a damn about these kids, man. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. All this is in vain, man. All this is in vain, man. And them kids, man, they, they coming, out, coming out of a polluted womb, man. So you basically ended every so-called relationship that you had because you wanted to have another baby by a different man. For what reason? I'm going to let the video speak on that. Let's keep on going. This is Isaiah chapter 3 Verse 12 and it reads this 
As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to error. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to error and destroy thy way and destroy the way of thy paths. And that's right, man. As you as you hear, man, as for my people, children are their oppressors. So these women using children to oppress the men. Oh man, I found a meal ticket. He got a job. He got a good job. He do this. He do that. I'm going to have his baby. Then I'm going to take him for everything he got. I'm going to get married to him first. And then I'm going to have his baby and take him for everything he got. I'm going to get alimony, child support, all that. Hey, look, man, Jake, man, these women do not love you, man. I don't care how big your rod is, how well you sling it, how good you look, how if you got a, a diamond gold tongue. I don't care about none of that, man. These women do not love you, man. They love what you can do for them. All you is is a meal ticket, man. Well, I know my woman ain't cheating on me. I lay it down, man. I got a 13-inch rod, man. And, you know, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, man. Keep on, let, keep on letting her talk that smooth stuff to you on, on, the, on that pillow talk stuff. You know, you, nobody else makes me, you know, uh, shake the way you make me shake and make my legs, you know, twist the way you make me twist. You, you, twir you, uh, you curl my toes and <clears throat> you make me swirt this and that, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, man. These women know how to talk to you, to you Jakes, man, to make you feel like, oh, yeah, I'm the man. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Can't nobody lay it down like me. Can't nobody do it like me. And give or take, you, you, you might have a good uh, sexual appetite with that woman, but she's still going to use you for what you, what you can provide and do for her, man. She don't give a damn about you. Our women do not love us, man. Okay? They use these children to oppress you, and they oppress you, man. And the only reason why these men are starting to see this is because the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh is dwelling um, amongst the earth, man. And the, the, the only men that have the true facts and understanding is the remnant coming back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Let's read this one more time. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. And that's right, man. Everything is out of balance, man. Everything is upside down, man. Okay, because these women, man, destroy everything, man. They destroy the happy home, all that, man. Because they, they feel like you ain't bowing down to them or, or treating them how they, how, 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 they, how they feel that you should be treating them, man. When in actual reality, you're, you're the help me to the man. The man is above the woman, man. But let's keep on going, man. I'm talking too much, man. Salakia, forgive me. Let's go uh, back to Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 25. And let's read verse 25. And it reads this. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get a broad. That's right, man. These women have too many liberties in Babylon the Great, man, to do what they want to do, man. And for you Jakes, man, to, to come across women that have three babies by three different baby daddies, that should automatically let you know, hey, man, look, I don't care how she looks. I don't care how, 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 how smooth she talking and everything else. I don't need to be messing with this broad, man. And then on top of that, you lay down with her and you don't put on no, no uh, a condom, man. But yet, as soon as the, uh, the baby pop out and you got child support uh, on your back like a backpack. Yes, you heard me. You got child support on your back like a backpack or a t-shirt. Then you want to bitch moan and cry. But you put yourself in that position. You knew that she she was a, a damn shameless dog. She was uh, going out for the next meal ticket, man. Man, Sirach 26 verse, uh, what is that? Uh, Sirach 26 verse 23, read that. But let's keep on going, man. Because this, man, this is madness, man. Let's jump to Hebrews chapter 13. Verse four, and it reads this marriage is honorable in all. So when you have sex with that woman and furthermore, none of these women belong to us, man. All these women that you interact with belong to wh whoever they lost their virginity to, man. And, and be honest with you, hey, pff, man, oh, man, don't ask your woman how many bodies she has. Do not ask your woman a hey, baby. How many bodies you got? Because I'm going to tell you like this, man, she, if she tell you. If she tell you how many bodies she really got, she don't respect you. 
And furthermore, to be honest with you, if she even entertained the conversation, she don't respect you. All you're going to do is hurt yourself, man. Don't even ask it, man. If you if you if you in the truth and your woman's in the truth and she's being obedient and she repented, man, just 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 keep on going with it, man. Be thankful, man. Real talk. Marriage is honorable and all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, the most high will judge. So this this damn demon, this woman that you're gonna see in this video, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is gonna judge this woman, man. And furthermore, you know what? Cause she's defiled, man. Her quiver is polluted, man, highly, man. And ain't no telling how many dudes she didn't laid up with and, 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 and they probably didn't shot her, shot their seed in her quiver or her mouth or her hand, whatever the case may be, it's still, it's still living with her, man. But let's get a, let's get a uh, scripture on what Yahweh Ba Shem is going to do to her kids, man. Okay? This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3, starting off at verse 16 and then at 9. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection. The seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. And this is unrighteous, man. For you, from you uh, drop, uh, hopping on that cock carousel just to have numerous baby daddies to get a check, man. Your kids are polluted, man. Your kids are, 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 are brute beasts, man. Your kids are not going to be uh, brought up to their uh, perfection, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to put them to death, man. For though they live long, for though they live long, yet will their... So like it, for though they live long... Yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honor. And that's right, man. So that judgment is going to be a, a unhonor, an unhonorable judgment, man. It's going to be grievous, horrific, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to put in that work on, on your, your, your kids, man. Your polluted, uh, uh, defiled kids, man. Verse 18. Or if they die quickly, and some of these uh, defiled babies die quickly, man. I did a lesson on a, a two-year-old... Uh, a little boy, man, that that uh that uh got put to death by his parents, man, and was put in the freezer for two years, man. That's a quick death. Or if they die quickly, they have no hope, no hope, man, whatsoever, man. Ain't nobody gonna save these kids, man. Neither comfort in the day of trial. For horrible is the end of un of the unrighteous generation. Let me read that again. For horrible. Is the end of the unrighteous generation. So you setting your kids up for an un, for an unrighteous, horrific, grievous death, man. By who? Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And then you know, and, and then you know what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to do to you. Let's get that. This is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai going to do to you, because you wicked as hell, man. Isaiah chapter three, verse eleven, and it reads this: Woe unto the wicked! Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hands shall be given him. And furthermore, man, you got all these kids, and you know, when, when the famine hit and all that, man, you might end up eating your kids, man. Okay? You might end up, you know, man, I'm tired of this little, this little MF, he keep on crying, I'm about to throw his ass in his pot. And then five minutes go by, his little ass gonna be in that pot. Hey, look, man, this is just like uh, in, in, in 70 AD, man, when Israelite women and, and, and men was eating their kids, man. Okay? D these times are coming back. Cannibalism is coming back, man. So you want to be wicked? Yeah, how about Shem Yahweh Shai? I'm going to show you how it's really done, man. All right, so stay tuned. A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just going to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only 680 a month. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is 340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is 2,040. So why don't you have six baby daddies? Hey, you saw it, man. And she proud as hell about that, man. Proud as hell, man. And furthermore, you know what? <laughs> let's 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 get a scripture on that, cause th that can go for the last video and in, and the next video coming up. So let's get a scripture on that. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter ten, verse seven, and it reads this: Pride is hateful before the Most High, and man, and both doof 
one commit iniquity. Pride is hateful before the most high and man. And by both do one commit iniquity. That's right, man. To be prideful is an abomination to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai don't like nobody that's proud, especially poor people that's proud, man. And the, and the, the nation of Israel is the poorest nation right now, man. We're at the bottom, okay? Because we're going through the curses. We were sent to Babylon for punishment. And you know, uh, the other Israelites scattered abroad across the four corners of the earth are going through the same thing, man. So how can how can you be proud, man? You know? Hey, look, man. How about Shem Yahweh Shah going to judge people that had that spirit on them, man? Let's keep on going, man. Because a lot of you, a lot of you women, man, you you women especially are proud as hell, man. Walking around with your chest poked out, all that, man. This is Deuteronomy 23. Verse 17, and it reads this. There shall be no whore. Nah, this, this, this may be one or two. You know, maybe four or five. Maybe seven or eight, 10, 11, 14, 15. Maybe, nah. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. So our women are not supposed to be whores, man. Okay, you ain't, you ain't supposed to be out here laying down with all Tom, Dick, and Harry and Mary. Okay? Letting all types of dudes put their rod in your quiver. Letting all types of women eat your quiver. Rubbing, you know, quivers together. All that nasty abominations, man. That's filthy, man. And then you turn around to ask to ask the next man to, to, to eat your quiver, man. Oh, man, oh, man. There should be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel, man. You, you tootsie pop niggas, man. Y'all about shit, y'all shot gonna put you motherfuckers to death, man. And you... A uh, uh, wicked woman, man. You wicked niggas and you wicked women, you, you sodomites and you whorish women are going to be put to death, man. Thus saith the scripture, man. Period, man. Our people are not supposed to be like this, man. And furthermore, let's jump here real quick. Because y'all promote this, man. Even you women, y'all promote this to y'all daughters, man. You know, go out there and play the field, sweetheart. Don't don't uh uh commit to this one man. Play the field. Live your life. Go out here and do you, boo. Live it up. And then once you hit 40 or 35, then settle down. Once once your walls are broken down and you have nothing to offer but a, a, a used... A, 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 you have nothing to offer but, but to be a used damn condom, man. And then want to act like once, once that happens, you want to act like somebody's supposed to treat you like a princess or as a queen, as you say. And technically, you're right. Let me say this, ladies. You are right, man. I'm talking to you two-third two -third woman. You are right. When you say you're supposed to treat me like a queen, you're right. Because you are a queen. What is a queen? An ill-behaved woman, a prostitute. That's what you shameless dogs are, man. So, yes, men, you're supposed to treat these two-third women like queens. An ill-behaved woman, a prostitute. So, yes, treat her like a queen. Thus said the definition, man, the true definition of queen, man. All right, this is Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29, and it reads this. Do not, do not, but y'all do this constantly, man. And I'm very thankful I didn't, I didn't have a daughter, man. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. And y'all tell y'all little girl, y'all tweet, you got grandmas teaching their damn little uh, gr uh, uh, granddaughters how to twerk. Play the field. Matter of fact, don't commit yourself. You got a boyfriend. You talk to that dude. Talk. Have a backup plan. Don't put all your your. Uh, what did they say? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just complete wicked, man. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Least the land fall to whoredom, and the land become full of wickedness. Ain't the land full of wickedness right now? Isn't the land full of whoredoms, uplifting and exalting a woman? Like she's the prize? Hey, man, when you're dealing with, with these two-third women, you're dealing with every dude she's been with, man. You're dealing with Raheem, Chris, Johnny, Jonathan, Mark, Anthony, little Ray Ray, little pistol starter, little, little, little D-boy, oh, man, little JJ, little J-Rock. You're dealing with every dude she dealt with, man, because they have all these spirits on them, man. Because they promote this, man. They promote they they promote our women to be prostitutes. Not only the enemy, but the women raising these daughters, man. Ain't no man in the household. They kick the men out, man. 
They want to be single and, and independent, man. Let's keep on going, man. It's madness, man. Because the, the, the women are supposed to be watched over, man. These women are supposed to be watched over, man, constantly, man. Period, man. All right, this is Ecclesiastic. It's also known as Sirach, chapter 42, verse 11. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. Least she make thee a laughing stock to thine enemies and a byword in the city and a reproach among the people and make thee ashamed before the multitude. Hey, man, these, these other nations are laughing at the nation of Israel, man. Oh, look, look at they women, man. They women are whores, man. Yada, 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 this and that, blah, blah, blah. These nations are laughing at Israel, man. Okay? Why do you think everything is a byword with us? Why do you think nobody has respect for our nation, man? Because the first thing, the first thing they're gonna do is look at our woman. Oh, look at that woman. They woman completely out of order. Look how they look how they look how they treat the men. Look how they talk to the men. They, they totally disrespect the men. And no other fucking nation goes for that shit, man. You don't see these other fucking nations talking to the men, uh, 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 the men of their nation crazy like they talk to us, man. Man, I saw an article where, uh, where uh, 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 a damn Elamite woman, a uh, 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 East Indian, a uh, so-called East Indian woman wearing pants in her country, they stoned her and hanged her, man. Yes, you heard me. They stoned her and then they hung her to make sure that she was dead, man. You cannot make this up, man. Let's keep on going, man. You're supposed to keep a sure watch over your daughter, man. To make sure she's brought up in the, the right way. To make sure she doesn't become a harlot, man. Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 26. Because if you don't, if you don't, this is why, man. Ecclesiastes 26 verse 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow, man. You know what that's talking about, man. So every dude that she come across, oh, he's cute. I like his personality. I'm going to fuck him. Clear as day. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be blunt and get straight to the point. I'm going to fuck him. Like I said, brothers, never ask a woman her body count, man. You think you're doing something? <laughs> Whoo, you ain't doing a damn thing. Eve has you beat. Okay? Eve has you beat. She can literally call it. She can literally call or text a dude right now from 15, 20 years ago and say, hey, how you been? Matter of fact, not even say that. Say, hey, I'm horny. I, I, I want to lay with you. And it's going to happen. That dude, oh, yeah, well, no problem. I'm here. Here's my address. Come, come holler at me. So you got to keep a watch over your daughters, man. Or her body count will be more than her birthdays, man. Her body count will be more than 10 birthdays, man. 10, 10 people's birthdays, man. Okay? And that's that's crazy, man. Let's jump here. Ecclesiasticus again. Chapter 25. Verse 12, I want to say. Slocket 21. Slocket 21. Last verse. Oh, it's... Ecclesiasticus chapter 25 verse 21 stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure and that's right man and that's all that our women are, 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 are looked upon right now is for pleasure man and the beauty is vain man the beauty is completely vain man okay all that war paint them feather dusters uh, uh, that that uh, fake hair all that stuff high heels fake nails all that stuff all that stuff is uh, vain man okay you can't tell what the woman actually looks like until she take up all the off all that fake stuff in the nails, the the heels, the the war paint which is makeup, the fake hair, the the, the feather dusters, all that man, the lick up, the head, the eyeliner, all that stuff, man. Okay, that's not beauty, man. All that stuff that's that's brought upon and and marketed to to our woman, that's not beauty, man. But our women are just used for pleasure, man. Okay, period, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to uh the next chapter over again. Ecclesiasticus 26, and let's read verses 9 to 10. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. And that's right, man. If you just sit back and just look at a woman, man, how her continence and how she acts and presents herself, you can tell her personality off jump, man. If you're a man of Yahweh, Shem Yahweh Shai. 
A, a two third nigga ain't gonna be, oh man, look at her ass, man. Oh man, look at them lips, man. Blah blah blah. She fat, man. I'm trying to get that. That's all you gonna look at. You're not. You're not gonna look. Look at her spirit, man. You're not gonna look at how she present herself, how she look, and everything else, man. And a lot of these women are, are insecure, man. Okay. Period, man. Verse ten. If thy daughter be shameless, and a lot of these Israelite women are shameless, man. Ain't no shame in their game, man. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. So they they supposed to be kept in the house, man. You are supposed to keep a, a a sure watch over your daughters, man. To have them be brought up in the right way, man. Why do you think there's so many babies born out of so-called wedlock? Because the father is supposed to choose your husband, man. The father can can tell can uh you know uh, see a man's bullshit uh, as soon as he meet him, man. To give you to a man of understanding, man. That's in the scriptures too, man. To give you to a man of understanding, man. Okay? If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. Least she abuse herself through over much of liberty. And that's right, man. Because these women have too much, too much liberty to gather abroad, man. And they abuse themselves, man. They got, man, so many damn bodies, man. Probably in the, the, the damn near to 100 to 1,000 bodies, man. Real talk, man. I'm not making this up, man. Real talk, man. It, it can be done. It's been done. And then once they get to a to, to, to that to that age where they hit the wall, then they want to settle down. Then they want then they want to uh, be a housewife. Then they want to do this and do that, man. Have a family, have babies at the age of 35 and up. Can't make this up, man. All right, let's close out here on this one. And this let's let this next video play. But like uh, we all we're all working to be priests, okay? So every in this new in this new kingdom to come, every Israelite man is going to be a priest. So if if our daughters were uh, are whores in the kingdom, man, because this this applied to the Levites, but this this is going to apply to everybody, man, okay? Because we're we're all going to be priests. So what is that? Uh, uh Leviticus twenty nine. Oh, where is that? Where is that? Verse nine. That's right here. Leviticus twenty nine, verse nine, and it reads this. And the daughter of any priest, and the daughter of any priest, if she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. If she profane herself by playing the whore, she profaneth her father. She shall be burnt with fire. Oh, she lit now. Eve is lit now. Okay, so that, that's the judgment for whores, man. So, you know, obviously they ain't going to happen in the kingdom with our people. But, you know, we're going to, you know, uh, it's probably going to be happening with the other nations because they ain't going to be perfect like us. So if you're going to play the whore, you're going to be burnt with fire, man. Period, man. All right, so let's let this other video play and uh, stay tuned for more edification. People say that. I More than, more than 80, less than 90. Oh, that's not a lot. You stopped counting. That's easy. Like, I had 80 as a high schooler. I see. We what? not all see on the Trump, and you got it. You got years on me, so she you said eighty. I was, was no lay with it, but I get mine. Like wait, actually. All right, y'all heard it, man. Y'all heard it. Y'all saw the reaction from the dude, man. The dude, he was shocked. Shit, what you shocked for, man? This is normal in, in Babylon, man. What you shocked for? But let's go ahead, man, for the next video, man. Let's start off with uh, Ecclesiasticus twenty six. Verse 14, and it reads this. A silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and there is nothing so worth as a mind well instructed. Hey, look, man, that, that's clear as day, man. A silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Nobody wants to come home to a damn contentious woman that always wants to argue, man. You can't even step your foot inside the door as soon as you open. You have where you been? You got nobody wants to come home to a headache, man. After you didn't work a hard day at work, Esau done had his dick in your pocket all day. He, he trying to make you uh, go home, uh, go home and leave with it. You know all types of stuff, man. We out here battling the world, man. We ain't trying to come home and battle you, man. And furthermore, this broad was speaking her own vain opinion, man. She, uh, man, this broad was just out of it, man. Isaiah chapter 8, 
verse 20, and it reads this to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, to the Holy Scriptures, man, the words of Yahweh, Yahweh, the true knowledge, wisdom and understanding. It is because there is no light in them. man. a lot of our people are dead, man. A lot of our people just are dead corpses walking around, man. Zombies, man. Our audition for the Twilight Zone, man. These people don't know what they're talking about. They think they're smart because they have degrees in Esau's world, man. Hey, man, the, the wisdom of this world, matter of fact, let's get it, man. Let's get it, man, because you, your degrees don't mean shit to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It's foolishness, to be honest with you. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 1. <clears throat> and let's read verses 25 to 27. Because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men and the weakness of the most high is stronger than men so regardless even if even if you how about you know shall come weak and unwise he's still more powerful than you man and stronger point blank period for ye see your calling brethren how that none so like it for you see your calling brethren how that not many wise men after the flesh not many mighty not many noble are called. And that's right, man. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh gives it to the babes, man. The ones that's that's brought that's brought low, man. Okay, and I believe uh Yahweh Shah said that in the Matthew somewhere where he was like, Thank you, Yahweh Shem Yahweh for giving this knowledge to babes, man. Okay, and he's giving he's giving this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to men you wouldn't even even believe that have it, man. Men that you probably didn't walk the, walk past on the streets, the grocery stores, gas stations, etc. That you believe just to be stupid, ignorant niggas, man. But yet these men are smarter than you because we have the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Verse 27. But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So you think you wise? You, hey, look, man. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it clear and plain to make you understand it. You don't know shit. You don't know shit. Okay. But the Most High have chosen the chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Because who's considered the foolish of the world right now? The Israelites, man. We're considered the, the, the oh, them niggas don't know nothing. They're stupid. All they know is what we teach them. Okay, but they, hey, man, look, you you went for a rude awakening. But the Most High have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. To confound the wise, and the most high have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And you just you come across the men of Yahweh Shem Yahweh and you try to interact with them, try to bring your, your worldly concept to, to, to the spiritual concept of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Hey man, you're gonna you're gonna you, 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 we see it all the time. You be you be in amazement and, and, and confounded, like wow, like. I can't say nothing. So you start an argument. You start lying. You start doing all this other stuff, man. Period, man. Okay. And like I said, man, this this woman that's gonna come up in the next clip, man. She she's exalting herself. She thinks she's wise, and I'm a single mom, and you can never get a woman like me. Hey, look, man. To be honest with you, bitch, don't nobody want a woman like you. That's why you single. Okay. And if you do get a man, you are gonna get a man that's wicked like you. Matthews. Chapter 23, verse 12. And whosoever, whether man or woman, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, man. And this woman, man, was exalting herself to a high standard. Like, I'm above the man. You listen to what I have to say. What I say counts. What you think and we sh what you say means nothing to me. I'm a woman. I'm a queen. I run the world. Women run the world. You listen to us. You bow down to us. Okay. We'll see. We'll see if you have that same mindset when all hell breaks loose. Okay. And you know what? Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha, Baba Gusha, Yahweh Shem Yahweh bring this demon across me when all hell break loose, so I can reveal to her that she ain't she ain't what's popping right now. Okay, she ain't what's popping. She she don't have no no control, no say so, no nothing, man. You're a help me to the man. Okay, y'all y'all gonna get back in y'all rightful positions, man. Whether you like it or not, man. Period, man. So let's jump here again, man. Cause you you, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. You talking to, you talking out the side of your butt, man. 
Yahweh Shem Yahushua ain't dealing with you women on that level, man. Job chapter 39, verse 17, because the most high, because who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the most high have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. So your understanding is not of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Your understanding is of Esau Edom, which is complete darkness and death. Okay? Esau Edom is completely against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So you following after Esau makes you against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, look, man, you can't make this up, man. Okay? Two thirds is a big number. And, and, and women outnumber us seven to one. So a lot of you women are going to be put to death. Okay? Period, man. In order for you to get, in order for you to get this woman, this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you have to humble down. You have to repent. You have to get it from a man of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Period. It's not a woman's lot to teach this Bible because you don't know the Bible. Just like I just read, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah has deprived y'all of wisdom, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's go to uh, cause she made a statement, or she's going to make a statement, Salaki, because I'm going to say it in the video. She's going to make a statement talking about that we're the Gentiles. Man, you don't know what... The, another reason why you don't have it. Another reason why you don't have it. Let's read this. And this is why. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself... Hold on. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh is saying, Jeremiah, even you, even yourself, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. So we're talking to Jeremiah and all Israel, woman, man, and child. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. So you thinking we Gentiles because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has taken that uh, 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 knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from you to know that you are the biblical Hebrew Israelite, man. To know that you are not a damn Gentile. To know that the people that's teaching this nonsense are the Gentiles and you're the chosen. Hey, man, look, man, a lot of you women should just shut up, man. Because you're just making yourself look stupid. The more and more you talk, the more and more you make yourself look stupid, man. Let's keep on going, man. Let's jump here real quick. Now, this, this is what you're seeing happening, man. And this, this is this is a numerous, amongst numerous things you're seeing happening right now, man, when it comes to this uh, scripture. Revelation chapter 11. Let's read verses 8 to 9, and it reads this. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. So they, they basically destroyed the image of Yahweh Shai, the name, all that, and put up Lassie, put up Cesare Borgia as the so-called son of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So they crucified our Lord and Savior in Babylon, the, uh, the daughter of Babylon, the mother of harlots, man. Verse 9. And, thy, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, so roughly 350 years, we were walking around here dead in a dead state, didn't know who we were, believing everything that Esau, Edom, and these other nations told us, man, that we were niggas, spicks, savages, you know, that we were nobody, we were just slaves, we were, we were nothing, you know, we had to uh, basically uh, uh, pray to a, a so-called white savior to, to redeem us, man, to obey our masters, you know, all that nonsense, man. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves, man. So we was in a dead, a dead state, man. But as Ezekiel 37 says, Yahweh Shem Yahweh blew that life back into us, man. He lifted us up back on our feet, man. He put our, he put those bones back together and gave us the understanding of who we were, the scriptures, and what's going on. So we see everything. That's why we calling everybody out on their bullshit, man. Period, man. Let's keep on going. Let's jump, uh, yeah, let's jump here real quick. Because a lot of these women, man, are completely, completely at ease, man. But you don't know that Yahweh by Hashem is about to uh, cast that away, man. Isaiah chapter 32, starting off at verse 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. 
Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Our women are careless, man. Very careless and comfortable, man. Give ear unto my speech, but you, you're not going to give ear unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh's speech. You want to do things your way because you believe because you believe things are right in your eyes. I feel like this. Well, this is how I feel. Well, I think who gives a damn how you feel and what you think, man. If it ain't coming from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh, we don't give a damn what you got to say. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless woman. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Jobs, the, 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 the government assistance, child support, WIC, food stamps, all that stuff is going to cease, man. All that stuff is going to uh, be obsolete, man. Verse 11, tremble ye women that are, at, that are at ease. Be troubled. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and grid sackcloth upon your upon your loins. And that's right, man. Because your high boss, Shinyao Shah, is about to bring that judgment upon you niggas and you wicked women, man. Nobody's exempt, man. Nobody's exempt. You women ain't exempt from your judgment. You, I, I'm not accountable for this. He did this. He did that. Hey, man. Kick rocks with that bullshit, man. You're accountable for everything that you do, man. Period, man. Everything that you do, man, you're accountable for it, man. Let's get this, man. Because you know why? You know why? Let's get this right here. What is that? First Timothy chapter 5. Yep, verse 6. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And all these women, not just, not just the Israelite women, but all these women live in pleasure, man. They're comfortable, man. Especially here in Babylon, man. So you Israelite women have been comfortable suppressing your own nation uh, by, by uh, uh, doing uh, your white, your so-called white daddy's work, man. Making marriages with the so-called white man, etc., man, doing his will, man. And you're going to get judged for that, man, period. You're going to be judged for all that, man, because y'all living comfortable and deliciously, man. And this lady also going to say something about, about uh, younger kids. Uh, kids talking to adults and all crazy and shit. Let's see what the Bible says about kids talking crazy to adults and all that. Isaiah chapter 3, starting off at verse 4. And I will give you children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. And I will give you children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. And the people shall be oppressed, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. So how in the hell are children acting like this? Why are children acting like this? Why? What is making the children act like this? Why are the children uh, 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 being this way? Let's let the Bible speak. Let's jump down to verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. So you're giving these children, whether it be little boys or little girls, the same mentality that you have because you don't want the man to be there. You want to be independent. All you want the man for is, his, is that child support money. That's it. You don't want the man to be there. You, uh, We don't need you, nigga. This, all this nonsense, blah, 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 this and that. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead them cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths, man. Period, man. Because a woman is not supposed to be leading, man. So you're, you're basically destroying your, your household, man. A man is supposed to be there to lead to lead in righteousness, man, righteousness. A man is supposed to be there to have balance in the household, man. To give righteous judgment, man. To make sure the kids ain't going off and being wicked as hell, man. You women go off your emotions, man. A man goes off of logic, man. Okay? The woman is the weaker vessel, man. You can't make this up. Matter of fact, let's go here real quick. Second address. Second address, chapter 5. This is what y'all doing, man. Verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Y'all bringing forth monsters, man. OK, the little nigglets and, 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 and damn whores, prostitutes, man. Y'all bringing forth monsters and uh prostitutes, man. Killers and, 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 and harlots, man. 
Man, our nation is, is completely out of order, man, and wicked, man. And like I said, every other nation is looking at the nation of Israel like, damn, look at these people, man. These people are just an abomination, man. And they laughing, scoffing, man. But yet y'all giving them the ammunition to do so, man. Okay? Because you don't want you don't want a man. And furthermore, if a, if a man is in the picture, he can't even uh 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 uh, uh what is the word I'm looking for? Um damn. If a man is in the picture, he can't even chastise his kids, man. He can't even correct his kids. Don't you put, don't you beat him. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call CPS. A man can't even uh, uh, have say so in his own household, man. A man, a man can't even justify uh, to, to uh, punishing his kids correctly, man. And the kids can even call the police on the fathers. Oh, yeah, my dad yelled at me. You yelled at him? 911, my dad yelled at me. We're on the way to come save you. Just all types of madness, man. You can't even beat your kids, man. Hey, man, you can't make this up, man. Let's keep on going. And why And why is that? Like I said, why is that? This is why. This is also another reason why, too, man. I'm going to talk about kids. Uh, you, you're supposed to be saying this and that to the kids. You don't want raising the damn kids. You don't want the man to be in the household. And you don't want to raise the kids, man. And don't know what the hell you're doing. Jeremiah 31, verse 22. How long will thou go about... So like it. Jeremiah 31, verse 22. How long will thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter, for Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have created a new thing in the earth, a woman, a woman shall compass a man. And you seeing that happen right now, man. Women have uh, uh, overpassed uh, uh, not just the Israelite man, but all nations, man. Especially in here in Babylon the Great, man. Women have above and beyond more privileges than men. If you even say hi to a woman and she, oh, it's a sexual harassment. And then call the police to file charges on you. They're going to believe her, man. They're going to believe her. Even if you literally just said, hi, how are you doing? Oh, that's sexual harassment. I don't like, I don't like how you looked at me. Matter of fact, I don't like how your lips look when you said it. I don't like the countenance of how you said it when you said it, man. You cannot make this stuff up, man. But now you know what? Esau is starting to feel that uh that back that backfire from him doing that, man. Now his woman is going against him. Now his woman is taking him to court for all types of stuff, man. You thought you was doing that just for the for the Israelites to bring us down. Now it's coming back upon your own head. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, man. Well, let's keep on going, man. Let's jump here. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 25, verse 25. Again, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman to liberty to get abroad. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to get abroad. And, and that's what Babylon did, man. They gave these women massive abundance of liberty to get, to get abroad, man. It's like you. They gave these women a uh, uh, numerous liberty to get abroad, man. <laughs> Period, man. Keep on going. Self-explanatory. I, I don't know. I read, already read that scripture. And like she said, uh, like, or so like, like she's going to say, she's a single mom. And let, let's see why you were single mom. Let's get one. Let's get a scripture on that. Uh, so like here. Con. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 22, verse 14. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. He that is he that is abhorred of the Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall fall therein. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. He that is abhorred, abhorred of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall fall therein. That's right, man. So like I said, the only man that you're going to get is a man that is wicked just like you. But a, a godly, a man that fears your high you're not going to get that, man. Period, man. Matter of fact, let's go here real quick. Ecclesiasticus uh, 42, verse 12. Because you're talking about, I got I got people all in my DM. And, and you know, it's not just because I look, it's because I have integrity. I have this, I have that. Oh, man, oh, man. So, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 42, verse 12. Behold, not everybody's beauty 
Behold, not everybody's beauty and sit not in the midst of women. So you shouldn't be looking uh, looking at a woman for her beauty. And you shouldn't be sitting amongst a whole bunch of women, man. Okay? Because you're going to start start uh, uh, getting a trait, starting to be effeminate and having an estrogen in your damn bloodstream. And why is that? Why is that? Let's jump back to Proverbs real quick. Proverbs. Because you're going to start, like I said, you're going to start c- carrying the traits of a woman, man. You're going to be a damn woman. All right, this is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 4. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a sh- ashamed is as rottenness is as rottenness in her bones. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh a shame is as rotten rottenness in his bones. And that's right, man. That's not the scripture I just wanted, but I'm gonna go ahead and read that. And that's right, man. So, like I said, man, how about Shem is not gonna not gonna give a man that fears him to a wicked woman. He's gonna give a wicked woman to a wicked man and give a godly woman to a godly man, man. Okay, so this type of woman is gonna completely just make her husband sigh and cry, man. Even though he's going to be wicked too, man. But matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that. And we, you know, because like I said, man, Yahweh Shimei Shai told us not to deal with a, with a woman of your caliber, man. Uh, Ecclesiastic is 26, verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Clear as day, man. Don't need to break that down. Clear as day. So let's close out here and let this other video play. And Lord willing, this was edifying to you. I know it was long, man, but I had to get all these scriptures out, man. I had to. I had to get all these scriptures out, man. All right, Proverbs 21, verse 19. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and angry woman. Hey, look, man, don't nobody, anybody with common sense and common sense ain't common in Israel, but anybody with any damn morals and uh can see can see that nonsense nobody wants to dwell with a woman that wants to argue and always always want to have the last word and get her point across and, you know uh, amongst other things too man nobody don't want to be around that man period man you know anybody that got any sense man you know so man you know i'm, I'm, I'm gonna let this video play but uh i don't want to write this out praying i hope that this is edifying to the hopeful elect so with that i'm just gonna say shalom single mom and i tell you what best believe I have people in my DMs every single day, not because just the way I look, but honey, I have integrity. I have morality. I carry myself in such a manner that whoever I am with, I am going to make them look good as well as they should make ignorant mentality that I speak about. This type of man is a low value man. (laughs) He has no purpose, nor does he know who God created him to be. To make a comment to say, how does it benefit you to raise somebody else's kid? How does it benefit for you to cash someone else's kid? Shows that you have no emotional intelligence. You have no intellect, okay? Because, see, the the reality of it is, we're all God's creatures. If you are in love with someone, you embrace their children as if they're yours, okay? And the reason you would do that, if you have... An understanding of what you believe and how you believe it God takes us and he he makes us his own right so when he actually died on the cross the the gospel was given to the Jews and yet the Jews did not care about the Gentiles and he grafted us in the Gentiles in which it didn't belong to us but he grafted us in we're, we're now considered his we're not considered stepchildren so when you carry a mentality as ignorant as cashing out somebody else's kid it shows that you lack any integrity any morality it shows that you're self-centered and possibly narcissistic it shows many different things and this is why so many families are broken and especially in the black community let's talk about that this is why our our community continues to lack so when you go out there in the streets and you see somebody disrespecting the older person you see a young youth maybe going wayward do you not say to yourself Maybe I should say something to that that young b- blood right there. Let me say, hey, dude, that's not the right way to go. We can do better. And take somebody under your wing and mentor them. See, when you about others beyond yourself, you make different choices. You grow. 
But that mentality that you mentioned right there is the reason why, you know, all these celebrities still got women popping their butts on the uh, videos, degrading themselves. They all about the money and the cash and the power and all these bling, 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 because y'all stupid and ignorant. I hate to say that, but that's what the Bible calls it, stupid and ignorant and foolish. And until you start learning who you are and valuing yourself, and you'll start valuing and seeing other people and start wanting to build them up. How about that? You would never get a woman like me. And I'm a single mom. And I tell you what, best believe, I have people in my DMs every single day. Not because just the way I look, but honey, I have integrity. I have morality. I carry myself in such a manner that whoever I am with, I am going to make them look good as well as they should make